Africa. The global sports car sector is also expanding, especially here in the UAE. So when Toyota decide it's time to re-enter that market, the car industry takes notice. Amir Al Marzuki took the new Toyota 86 for a spin. Speed, class, purity and affordability. That's how Toyota describes their latest offering, the 86. After more than a decade, the Japanese car maker is making a comeback to the realm of the sports car. They've conquered the 4x4 market, people carriers and the luxury sector. They are the world's largest vehicle manufacturer, selling over 7 million a year. Alpha Tame Motors in the UAE sell nearly 75,000 units annually. But the 86 has been five years in the making and has had petrol heads around the world on the edge of their seats. I think um, in terms of all the enthusiasts missed it. Uh, I missed it. I remember MR2, Celica and, and Supra and this market does. So there was a voice of our customers and enthusiasts saying bring it back. And I, I think Akio Toyoda also has to take uh, credit for this. You know, he was the guy who sat back in Japan, uh, what, five years ago now and started this project. And, and it's come to fruition today and, and we're thrilled and delighted by it. For the purist, the 86 inherits the spirit of its predecessors, the 800, the 2000 GT and the AE86. But Toyota knows just how much the sports car market is worth, with 1.6 million sold in the past year. They want this car to inject back the sports spirit into the brand. It's difficult to compare because it's something different. The, the Toyota 86 is, um, is new for Toyota, but it's, it's a car that, that manufacturers don't go in for these days. We've talked about that it's got, you know, it's a, a boxer engine, it's front mounted, it's rear wheel drive. You know, that is a classic combination and that's what makes it so exciting to drive. And you don't see too many of those cars around here. So from a competition point of view, it's, it's really hard to pin it down. The sports car is rear wheel drive with the world's only flat boxer engine in a front engine rear wheel drive setup. The body's design has given the car a low centre of gravity and the 2.0 litre engine produces a top speed of 230 kilometres per hour. By looking at the 86 you may think this is another sports car that is for the rich, but you would be wrong. The 86 is aimed at the mid-range market at 95 to 125,000 dirhams. So that's what it's like to drive a Toyota 86, a sports car that's doing what a sports car is designed to do at its best. Amir Marzugi, Emirates News.